Well, good morning. Today is Saturday, October 19th, and we're on our way to our Weight Watchers meeting, our WW meeting. Um, our leader has never talked about any new plans, but I know that they're sworn to secrecy, but you're seeing so much on the internet, so I'm thinking they're saying November 11th, which is a Tuesday. Which I'm thinking it should start on a Sunday because that's the beginning of the Weight Watcher week. But I don't know. But anyway, we have a birthday today. Today is Angela over at Smack Vision, her sister Dana. Her sister Dana's birthday is today. I know Dana probably doesn't watch my channel, but Angela does, and I'm sure she'll show her this video. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Dana. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Okay, Angela. Now don't be a brat and go crazy eating on your sister's birthday. Because you don't want to go back into the 220s. You want to have a firm hold on those teens. Because I know you can do it. You're going to get to Wonderland before the end of the year. I know you will. I have no doubt. Um, and Anita over at Chit Chat Paddywhack, oh my gosh, she had over a four pound loss. I forget the exact amount, but I know it was a lot. She did really well. And like she said, she followed the program. You know, tricky little loophole they got there. You got to follow the program on to lose weight. But I have every intention of losing at least a pound today. Because I told you between now and the end of the year, 11 pounds my goal small goal but that's my goal my real goal is to get as close to wonderland as i could possibly get but i will take a pound a week for 11 pounds to start the new millennium out in the right way uh, i don't have any plans today but jim and i might go out to dinner tonight because we got a coupon for a free dinner at one of our favorite restaurants and the last time we were there they gave us a coupon for a free appetizer so I am going to plan my day accordingly because the last time I went, I got the uh, California chicken, which was delicious. It was a grilled chicken breast with some pico de mayo on it with um, some avocado. And um, I think it was really low in points. I forget exactly how many points it was. Okay, buddy. Block my view. You're turning left, but you can block my view. That's okay. I could have went but I was distracted. Uh, this is a long light, too. And there was so much frost on the ground when I got up this morning. It was just unbelievable how much frost. It almost looked like it snowed. But then it's supposed to go up to 68 today. <laughs> so, uh, Michigan weather. I'm sure it's the same all around the United States. It's, uh... But anyway, my other plan, I don't have any other plans. I probably go for a walk today. I usually don't walk on a Saturday, <clears throat> but I think I am. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know it's the time of year when my sinuses are draining. But I remember that when I um, used to walk in the mall, when I lived over my other house, there was a mall, and they had a little path with markers and stuff like that. It was pretty cool. We have an outdoor mall that's probably about 25 minutes from me. And they have markers along their walk too, but I don't know, spending an hour just to walk an hour, I don't know, it just seems like frivolous as long as I can walk around. I know I said I was gonna walk on the treadmill in the winter and I really still have that intention of doing that. I know I'm still gonna do the water walking every morning and I'm gonna do the water aerobics, but uh, I'll be honest with you, the walking on the treadmill, there's just something about walking on a treadmill that is just so, boring and I, I did watch videos last time I did it which did kind of pass the time a little bit quicker so we'll see if that that comes to be but uh, now I'm kind of rethinking now I think I bought too much potatoes for tomorrow because I really the more I'm hearing from people that that are probably going to the memorial but not staying to eat I don't know why but don't know it's like you don't know it's not like a wedding where you can say you know RSVP 
My favorite is when you ask somebody if they're going and they go, no, I really don't like going to funerals. And I always tell them, you know what, I do. I put that on my calendar. I look forward to going to a funeral because that's like the best time in the world. You can't ask for a better time than going to a funeral. And then they look at me and I'm going, of course I don't like going to a funeral. Nobody likes going to a funeral. Nobody's going to put that on their calendars to look forward to. But that's the way it is. And that's the way it was. Walter Cronkite. Walter Cronkite. I always remember when he started to cry when Kennedy got assassinated. You'd never see a reporter do that now. But <clears throat> it was a simpler time, but no, it really wasn't. You know, you always think that the past was a simpler time, but then when you look back, it really wasn't. Look at the 60s. People look at that and think it was such a fun game of sex and free sex and rock and roll and all that. But no, there was a lot, you know. They had the war going on. They had the killings. They had race riots. It was... There was a lot going on that wasn't good. But just have to learn from history, otherwise it's going to repeat itself. And we don't, there's so much that we don't want repeated. Come to Michigan. Enjoy our roads. We're the Motor City. We're known for our cars, but we're not known for our roads. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, I tried to watch some videos yesterday. I know people, I was watching Joan over at Joan's Pointed Plate. She's got her menu and she has such different, I eat the same stuff every day. It's, I know it's boring and sometimes I wonder why I even show my food because you can pretty much set your clock by what I'm going to have to eat because I eat basically the same foods all the time. I enjoy the foods I eat. I really do. Um, I do fancy myself a pretty good cook, but it's kind of hard to cook for just one. It's hard enough cooking for two, but try cooking just for one. And then you freeze it, and then it's just not the same. I mean, it's it's good, but it's just not the same when you freeze something. <clears throat> but uh, I uh, I do try, I guess. But I just but when I was not watching my weight and just eating whatever I wanted, I basically ate the same stuff. I'd have Burger King or Wendy's or, you know, burgers, burgers and fries, burgers, fries, pizza, and then pizza, burgers, fries, and then burgers, pizza, fries. Yeah, I just, I went crazy. Look at this. It's very simple. Okay. One pound. That's all we want. One pound. We're not going to be greedy. Okay. I reached my goal of one pound. Yay. It's very sunny. I don't know if I can see if I can. that helps a little bit not much but a little bit but anyway I lost 1.7 for a total loss of 76.6 pounds just 0.4 more and I'll get back to my 77 pound loss that I had on September 1st of 2018 on September 1st of 2018 I lost 77 pounds and then I struggled for the whole year at one point I had gained almost 20 pounds back that's just ridiculous. But I'm back on track. So today I weighed 227.6. Our computers were down, so they had to hand write them, which I think most people have that anyhow. So I am just so proud of myself. I'm so happy. You go, girl, because I am. I'm going. I'm on my way. Look out. Look out, because there's no stopping me now. So um, I have to go over to um, Best Buy because i got to get some... Uh, printer ink. Sometimes I think it's just cheaper to buy a new printer than to buy the printer ink. But uh, anyway, and then I'm going to head on home, do my weekly highlight meeting, and uh, just stay on track for the day. Jim and I are going to go out to dinner tonight, but like I told you earlier, I'm going to pick something healthy. And because uh, I like this feeling. I like this feeling of having a loss. It's so much better than a gain. And 1.7. I'm 0.7 ahead of the game now. Although I'm still shooting for another pound for next week. So, uh, I'll see you at breakfast. Okay, I bought a new mount. Let's see if this works any better. Um, we're on our way to Kroger's because I have to get some bananas. And what else do I have to get? Oh, milk. Bananas and milk. And then we should be all set. So I'm curious to see if this works because I am bound and determined because I do a lot of vlogging in the car in the winter because I'm going out in the morning. So I want to check this out, make sure that it doesn't bounce as much 
doesn't click as much. And I think I'm going to have to move it over to the farther mount because you're seeing more of the steering wheel than I think you should see. But uh, we'll see. Okay, let's see if this side works better. <clears throat> I uh, tried a different vent holder to see if this makes the difference. But here it's kind of windblown, but it's not really that windy today. It's, it's getting warmer. I don't need this jacket. I definitely needed the jacket when I left to go, but uh, I don't need it now. So. I'm on my way to the post office. So I want to see if I got any mail. And then uh, head on home after that. I did really well. I only bought my milk and my bananas, just like I said. And it was hard. My donuts were there calling my name. They were going, Sandy, you lost 1.7. you. At least not today because I'm going out to dinner and I want to use my points on a meal, not on a donut. So, okay, we're here at the post office and there's not very many people here. This is unusual. Usually on a Saturday it's pretty busy, but uh, for some reason, okay, he's going to take forever to pull in there. I could have made it if he would have drove normally, but any hooser. Um, See, they're all coming in now. There was nobody here, and now they're all pulling in. I jinxed myself. I spoke too soon. So, all right, let's go and uh, see if I get any mail. I'll be back. Don't miss me. Okay, we're gonna have breakfast, cup of tea, glass of water. Usual breakfast. Started my day with a prayer, drank 50 ounces of water. My quote is, always remember to keep your eye on the prize. Seven points, zero for my egg, berries, banana, tea, and water. Three points for my bacon, three points for my bagel, and one point for my laughing cow cheese. Seven points, I still have 16 points left, plus my 42 weeklies. Okay, this is another one of my new shirts I got at uh, Kohl's. Extra large, or is it a large? I think this one's a large. I think it's a large. It's not a 3X, that's all that really matters. But I stopped by the post office earlier and I got mail. So let me show you my mail. Oh, it's a sympathy card. Thank you so much. In sympathy, always with you. Love lives on forever in the heart. Love lives on. May the memories with you hold in your heart bring healing and peace to your soul. Keeping you and your gym in my thoughts and prayers. Sincerely, Debbie Clark. Thank you, Debbie. Dear Sandy, Jim, and Bertie. Thank you. I will show Bertie this tomorrow. I'll bring it and put it on display with uh, the other remembrance cards that we're going to get. I got this one. Today, may you find comfort, for God is present to walk with you through this difficult time of loss. May you find peace, for God is present to care for your deepest need. May you find hope, for God is present to assure you of his guidance in the days ahead. Isn't that a pretty card? Very nice sentiment, too. Dear Sandy and Jim, you are in my thoughts and prayers and in our hearts. Just wanted you to know I'm praying for both of you and Bertie for comfort and strength. Much love to you during this difficult time. Love in Christ, Tanya Hampton. I think it's Tanya. Taun Tana. T A W N A. Is it Tana? I hope I'm not screwing up your name. Thank you. Thank you so much. We got another one. Oh, did I not slice? Oh, I sliced the bottom. I didn't slice it the right way this time. Sending you sympathy and prayers. You guys are too nice to me. You really are. And letting you know my heart goes out to you at this time of sadness with deepest symphony, symphony, sim, with deepest sympathy. Well, the angels are singing a symphony. That's what I'm thinking in my mind. Uh, Naomi Cox. 
I am so sorry for your loss. May God comfort you during this time. God has been very comforting to me, as have all of you, and I so appreciate it, more than you will ever know. I got another one. Oh, it's a bird. I love birds. Dear Jim and Sandy, hoping you'll find comfort in the love and memories your heart will always hold on to. I'm very sorry about Tom. It is never easy to lose a loved one, but we have the blessed hope of being reunited one day, holding you and your family up in prayer. May God bless and heal your hearts. Janice Withrow. Thank you, Janice. That's something I'm looking forward to is seeing everybody again. I really am because it is it is going to happen. I know. I'm living a good life. Not a holy, holy life, but a good life. So... And it's a homemade card. Let's see if I can open. Hi, saw this cute bookmark. Saw this cute bookmark and thought of you. Pray all is well. Your friend from Texas, Alicia, is so cool. Look at it, some birdies. It's so cool. Take the little tick sticky tape off. I love it. This would be me. Quack 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 squacking. <laughs> Quacking all the time. But uh, no, I love it. I have books everywhere, so I can always use a bookmark. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody, for all your nice thoughts and prayers and your cards. I so appreciate it more than you will know. Um, I went to Best Buy today and I bought a new holder for the car. You either saw the video of it or else I brought the holder back. <laughs> I don't know. I did it at two different spots as I was driving to see if it made any difference, but I haven't edited my video yet, so I don't know how well it turned out. So you either saw it or you didn't. It'll be in a surprise to me when I'm editing, whether or not you see it or not. But anyway, I did go and I bought more printer ink for my printer. And my print the printer ink cost... $56. And, you know, I don't understand what's going I have a brother, and it's an, old, it's an old printer. But I always try to print in black and white, but for some reason I always lose the color, even though I'm not using it. And it seems to go really rapidly, <laughs> if you ask me. So I would think since um, I've, in the, just this year, I think I've replaced these cartridges at least four times. And I don't really print that much. So... While I was there, I saw they had an Epson printer that's on sale for $249. And if you bring an old printer in, they give you a $30 rebate on it. So it would bring it down to $219. And then it has, instead of cartridges, it has like ink bottles. And it said it had enough for 10 refills. So I would think that I'm spending $45 just for this, and this is not gonna last me till Christmas. I'm really thinking of breaking down and buying a new printer. But I will let you know if I do. And it's a wireless printer, and it looks pretty nice. So I um, I didn't want to make an impulse buy, so I'm really going to think on that. I, I had already had the, the ink in my basket, so I thought, man. Yeah. And then I bought a new screen protector for my phone because I'm really hard on phones. <laughs> I drop my phone a lot. And... Uh, what I need to do is remember to send in the warranty. I never remember to send the warranty in, but I'm going to do that this time because uh, I'm, I'm terrible. <laughs> I'm just terrible. So uh, anyway, um, I have Alyssa. We went out to dinner. We went to a local restaurant called Bubba's 33, which is like a pizza burger joint. And um, we got a free pizza, and then we had to buy a pizza to get the free pizza. And so I had two slices of pizza, and I did have a glass of Coke, and then I had, you saw my breakfast. And then Christy made some chocolate chip cookies. I had two cookies. So I've used all my weeklies for today. But you know what? I do that on Saturday. I just do. But tomorrow, um, we're going to Tom's memorial service. So uh, I don't know that I'm going to put a video up. It depends on if I have birthdays tomorrow. If I have birthdays, I'll definitely put up a video. But if I don't have any birthdays tomorrow, I won't be putting up a video. If not, I will definitely see you on Monday. So um, give this video a like and leave a comment, subscribe, and share it. And I'll either see you tomorrow for a really quick little update. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be going to church in the morning because I'm supposed to bring potatoes. 
and uh, baked beans. I already made the cupcakes today. I brought, uh, I'm bringing five dozen cupcakes. I already made the cupcakes and I didn't eat not one cupcake. And I didn't lick not one bit of frosting as I was frosting them. So I did really well with that. So I have five dozen cupcakes I'm bringing. But um, I have to get up and make the potatoes in that because we have to leave around 12. And so I gotta get up earlier to make it. So I'm not gonna get to church this week. I'm sure God will forgive me. So, um, okay, I'll see you guys, like I said, either tomorrow or Monday.